Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Today I have built my very first space plane, not really a space plane, it just is more of a rocket plane because it's got a rocket engine on the back. But I've built our first aircraft, a vehicle with wings that's intended to work in the lower atmosphere as well as maybe the upper atmosphere. And what we're going to be doing with it today, we're just going to test it out, we're going to fly it a little bit, see how it performs. I'm thinking we're going to try to get it into orbit if possible and then bring it back down to the ground without destroying it. So I'll go through the setup that we got going here. I've got two jet engines here uh, with the shock cone intakes. I forget what kind of engine they are. They're one of the small ones. We have our landing gear on the wings here. We have some canards at the front. These nice big wings. I went I went ahead and put wingtips on them. I'm not sure if that's going to help or hurt us, but who knows. Uh, and we got our tail fin here. The most important part, we have a swivel rocket engine at the back. That will work when the jet engines don't, when we get towards space. But anyway, let's see how this thing performs. As I was saying, first of all, I said I wouldn't come back to this game in the short term because it's not finished. Uh, I think it was released, uh, you know, there's no real campaign. It has a lot of parts, but not as many as it could. Uh, there are still some bugs and things going on. But honestly, it's a shiny new game. It's got cool features. We can still have a little fun with it and enjoy it. And just because it might not be fully ready yet doesn't mean we can't play it. So let's give this thing a try. I'm going to go ahead and turn our SAS off and activate our jet engines here. Now these jet engines actually have a steering component to them, which is really, really cool. In addition to the fact that we have an actual like airfoil steering system. Okay, look at that. We got those beautiful intakes on the top there. We'll get her going nice and fast and then go for takeoff. Okay, let's lift off here. SAS enabled and lift. Oh, perfect. Beautiful lift off. Let's get let's get some altitude going here. Nice. Stow the landing gear. Awesome. Look at that. It's surprisingly stable. We can we can throttle down a little bit. We're still accelerating pretty fast, so that's fine for now. Let's increase our climb angle a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. For one thing, this game is way prettier than its predecessor. It's way more fun to look at the ships you build, and if you ask me, that's like part of the gratification of playing the game. Um, you know, being able to see your cool thing that you designed going to space. Now, if we look at our jet engines, if I click on them, the thrust you can see is slowly dropping because we are climbing higher and higher with these things. Um, so like as you get higher in the atmosphere the air gets a lot thinner if there's less air in a jet engine the air is your oxidizer so with less oxidizer you cannot burn as efficiently so we're gonna full throttle these up we're gonna keep this nice like 15 degree angle of ascent here you know we'll, in fact we'll maybe increase it to 20 we're not trying to go crazy fast, we're just trying to get up towards the atmosphere. Okay, you can see our surface speed is decreasing, but we are still climbing. Okay, I'm going to switch on the rocket shortly. Okay, there we go, now they're deactivated, okay. So, since the rocket... Yeah, since the rocket has its own oxidizer and fuel on board, it doesn't need any external sources, uh, any external air to enter the engine in order for it to work properly, which is why this thing is now ascending at a pretty good pace. And I'm actually going to try to pitch us up a good bit here. Okay, fantastic. Arguably, our craft could use a bit more power. But let's just let's just try to get it up to like Yeah, you know what? Actually, let's time warp a little bit. 
Yeah, okay, so actually our altitude has kind of leveled off. So, rather than our initially intended task of getting to orbit, let's just try to land this thing. So, I'm going to do a turnaround here. You've got to be careful with doing these, because if you do turning maneuvers while moving too quickly, there's a chance the plane tears itself apart. So, let's turn this thing around here. Oh, it just it just looks so cool uh, and I'm going to also reactivate both of our jet engines so and deactivate the rocket because it is probably wasting fuel okay fantastic all right let's level out a little here Get a little sideways going. There we go. This thing is remarkably stable. I, I didn't think that I'd be able to actually build something capable of like semi-stable flight, but here we have it. Good old Nelly up there, or Neely, piloting our, our craft. Let's have a look in here, wait. There he is, steely-eyed determination. He's not looking in the same direction with both eyes, but that's fine. Okay, I can see the runways. I can actually see them. So let's level out or level off a little here. We want to make a nice straight on approach. And we're still cruising. Uh, actually, we are kind of losing speed, so I'm going to increase our throttle for a minute. Okay, let's deploy our gear. Gear down. Beautiful. Decreasing throttle so that we can hopefully, like, actually try to land here <laughs> oh man okay I see the runway but we are still going very quickly okay and I think our altitude yeah our altitude is dropping okay awesome we're scrubbing off speed there is the runway <laughs> oh wait I'm not I'm not pointed at the runway I'm pointed at the grass next to it Oh no, I already messed it up. Okay, well actually this should work just as well, so... Nice straight landing, straight approach. Just a gentle little touch. Cut the engines completely. And... Touchdown! Beautiful, okay. Now we have to decelerate by slowly braking. Okay, the brakes are engaged. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually worked. Look at that, we recovered our vehicle. We recovered our space plane. Cool. How do you feel, Neely? How do you feel in there? He looks just the same as he did when we took off. So let's, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. Yeah, so that, that's my first plane in Kerbal Space Program 2. A lot of cool features, uh, not much, in fact, I don't think anything that's not in the original game. Um, you know, we just have a set of jet engines and a rocket. We learned from that flight that the rocket was in fact not strong enough to get us off the planet. And you can see our Delta V here is zero meters per second, which means this craft, if we pointed it vertically, could not lift itself up off the runway. Um, I wonder if I like, what happens if I just do a little switcheroo here? Nice. Yeah, see, now that changed our Delta V significantly to 2,530 meters per second. Just, just for kicks, we can try that out real fast. Cause that theoretically is enough to get to orbit. Okay, so I've been encountering this strange issue where for some reason, the game, I will be able to build the craft, and then I get ready to launch it. I hit the launch button, and nothing happens. So I had to reboot the game, but I just want to try one more thing with this space plane. I added a larger but non-swivel engine to the back here, um, and I also added more fuel tanks. So we have a little more methalox here. Changed our color scheme up just a little bit. Actually, I think it is the same. Um, and yeah, 
I just want to see how fast we can get this thing going in the lower atmosphere. So for perspective, I believe it 323 is the speed of sound in meters per second. So we're going to try to beat at least the speed of sound to make this my first supersonic plane, which I'm pretty sure we did in the last flight, but let's see if we can get going to Mach 2 or maybe even Mach 3. So for a nice gentle acceleration, I want to start with the jet engines. Let's go for it. Rather than the rocket, because the rocket would get us going crazy fast. So we'll just get off the runway with the jet engines and then we'll hit the rocket. Uh, I think these wing, this configuration, you probably would want more swept back wings for actual supersonic flight. But who cares? Who cares? That's not our problem today. Our problem is to go big fast as quickly as possible. You can see our delta V down here. 4,000 meters per second almost. That is insane. Okay, let's turn on SAS and lift. Okay, there we go. We have liftoff. Stow the gear. I also went ahead and time warped today so we could actually see. Oh, look at that thing. So let's put it on a nice... Oh, it's got some wiggle to it. <laughs> let's put it on a nice straight line just above the ground. Okay, we're actually descending, so that's not going to work. And you know, I'd actually prefer to fly over land, so let's do that. Let's turn around. Okay, don't crash. Don't crash, little space plane. Supersonic space plane. Ah, look at that turn. Wow, there's even a dock. I, I think eventually they must be trying to add some kind of, like, boats or maybe like like SpaceX has those recovery craft that they put out into the ocean to recover the the Falcon boosters maybe we can eventually get something like that in the game all right we've leveled out nice over our beautiful space center let's kick on the rocket give the people on the ground a show now again I don't want to ascend I just want to go fast okay now we're descending up a little more come on Look at that thing go. <laughs> it's so fast. Okay, so we've broken the speed of sound. No peculiarities so far. Um, also, I, I just would like to note, I'm running this on a 3080, and it's still getting a bit laggy, which I'm sure they'll fix over time. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to make a note of that. I had to turn the SAS off because it was destabilizing us. There it goes again. I also read somewhere that they haven't added like air effects to the game yet and I would definitely believe that because this thing is now going probably about Mach 2 and it seems like completely unscathed by any kind of heat from the air. Jeez. I wonder if you could build a craft that was so fast that it could get into orbit well, I guess it wouldn't be orbit because it would be power, but it could get going so fast that you could point it in a straight line while in the lower atmosphere, and it would and it would stay in a stable orbit above the planet. That that would be insane. Okay, so one important thing. Oh, that it's freaking out down there. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well. Let's, let's revert to the launch pad here. So, we got to Mach 2.3 maybe, thereabouts. I think we can definitely do better. I made the mistake of trying to turn uh, and correct our slightly downward trajectory. You should never do that when going that fast because as soon as you turn this thing, its profile in terms of the wind, like if I turn it like this, the wind hits it in more places which causes a lot more friction and as we saw, she's got some wobble to her, so we don't like that. Here, stop rolling. I'm going to sit it down right on the one. Sit yourself down, buddy. Nice. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like one of those cars on airbags. It can just sit itself down on the ground when it's done. Yeah, but anyway, this, this was really cool. I feel like 
even though there may not be a campaign in the game yet, the the visuals of it and the aesthetics uh, make it really fun to play. Um, I can definitely imagine if you don't have a higher end PC that this is going to be a struggle. I do have a higher end PC, thankfully, and even then it's having its moments. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make plenty more of these just fooling around, seeing what this game has to offer. Um, but until then, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.